All right, we're here with our four seniors from our women's cross country team and head coach Zach Kindler. Um, wanted to talk to you guys about the Hack Conference Championships coming up. Um, Lauren, let's let's talk to you first. Um, big big weekend coming up. Um, how have you guys been preparing for this weekend, and uh, how are things looking so far? Well, I mean, we've prepared all season long with distance running, especially. Um, we put in every day at the beginning, and we work towards the end goal. So throughout our season. We didn't feel our best at every single race, but we were preparing to feel our best at this conference race. So, I mean, we've put in the time all season, so we're just really ready to come out and show what we can do on Saturday. And you guys, you know, the four of you have ran together for a long time. You guys are the four seniors on the team. Uh, Megan, talk about how close you guys are, are as a group and what have been some, some keys to how successful you've been? Well, when you run with uh, these girls for four years, it's impossible not to get really close. I feel like these girls are like my sisters, and especially Ashley, since we've been running together since high school, so this is our eighth year running together. Um, I think one of my favorite team moments for us was probably our freshman year, or one that stands out in my mind, so our freshman year when we won conference the last time. Everyone was just hugging and crying. It was so exciting to so go to nationals for the first time. And hopefully we can have that moment relived again this weekend. Ashley, talk about your relationship with Megan and, and how how long you guys have been racing, kind of a, a, some moments you remember too from your relationship, and then also talk about the rest of the group. Yeah, I mean, we've been running since freshman in high school, and here we are as seniors in college, so we've definitely got to know each other pretty well. And we know each other's running style, I think, pretty well, and we understand each other. And, I mean, I can't really imagine myself living without Megan because I've been with her, like, really my whole life. So... Great TV. <laughs> Jenna, what would you say, what are, if you looking back in your career here at Baker, what are some moments that you'll always remember? Um, some of the moments I'll always remember are basically just the moments we have during practice because that's when we spend the most time together. We're always around each other. And so it's just little moments like laughing together on an easy run. We have a lot of jokes together. And so I can't really pinpoint one specific moment that I would say, but I think we all just have created a lot of memories during our time together. And so I think that's something we all cherish. Coach, how about for you? You know, it's got to be pretty special to have a group like this that have ran so well together, and you guys have a great opportunity coming up this weekend in the future. Um, give us some input as to how important it's been to have these this crew together in this this group. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, you know, it's, it's been an honor to see these, these uh, coming in as as freshmen, young women, and now as 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 mature adults moving into next year, hopefully the workforce and uh, see them develop and, and, and just grow as runners as well. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, obviously, they had some great upperclassmen when they came in here as freshmen with some high expectation, and then they achieved that our, our freshman year or their freshman year. And then now as seniors, they're doing the same thing to some of our underclassmen as well too. So it's 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 always exciting for me as a coach to see that uh, to see them together as a group and develop that bond. That's always what we want as a, as, as a team. And then just uh, you know, the, the leadership and style that they bring each and every day, just not only just in practice, but then everything outside of practice as well, too. And then when we get to meets and then the competition and the way that they've stepped up, especially this year, and, and competed well and had fun, and, you know, that's, that's what it's about. And so I'm uh, very blessed and honored to be part of that group as well, too. You guys have had a really great year overall. Um, you guys are now ranked in the top 25. Um, haven't talked to you yet, Coach, since that happened. Um, what did that mean for your program to have your team nationally ranked? Yeah, it's, uh, I think they deserve it. It's one of those that, that's kind of been one of our goals this whole year is to kind of get in there. Uh, we knew that we are going to have to keep running at that level to be able to be competitive in our conference. Uh, we know Central Methodist and Benedictine both have very strong programs. And for us to be able to move into the national league and to be able to beat both those teams, we know for a fact that that's the caliber of team we have to be capable of running against. And so uh, it is exciting to get back into the, the top 25 and get some respect to so these, these ladies definitely deserve. Um, but ultimately it comes down to what happens this weekend and then really what, uh, if we get the opportunity to run at the, the National League, what happens there. Lauren, another question for you. You've had a really great year this year. Um, a lot of 
Pac Runner of the Week awards and, and been a vital part to the team's success. Um, how's, it, how's it been like this for you for, you for this year, um, especially? You've had a great career, but for your senior year um, especially, what's it been like for you to have you know, a pretty successful year? I mean, it's every, um, you know, it's your final year, senior year, it's very bittersweet, and you want to go out on top and you want to hopefully, you know, be able to compete at the highest level that you can. Invested four years into a sport, and so I, I'm just extremely blessed to have been fortunate and not really have many injuries and to be able to perform at you know my greatest potential that I feel. So I'm really blessed. Coach, last question: for, um, What will it take for you guys to to get to that next level, get to get to to the national championship, which will be here in Lawrence? Um, you know, what will it take this weekend to capture that team title? Yeah, it's obviously going back to move-in day something we thought about from the very beginning and we talked a lot about and now that an opportunity and time is here it's just very exciting to to think about that what that's the next step for us to take uh central methodist is definitely the team for us to, to have to be to go to the national meet they've got an outstanding group of girls that have been really progressing as the years went on uh, and so we're we're excited we've seen them throughout the season had some good success against them, but we know what they're capable of doing, especially at the end of the year. We've seen it the last couple of years. They've come out on top uh, winning conference in the last few years. And so for us, we know that's what we're going to have to do. But for us, really, our game plan, we're not changing anything up. We just do what we're capable of doing. And that's kind of our mindset. We know we're uh, capable of, of running. We know what type of team we have. We just have to go out and race our race. And I think if we do that, then at the end of the day, we should be able to come out victorious. Well, thank you to all five of you for the interview today and good luck this weekend.